The provisions requiring a fire protection system vary in the IFC and IBC. Outside of buildings, the IFC requires the installation of private fire protection water mains and fire hydrants to ensure that the required fire flow is available in the event of a structure fire. IBC and IFC fire protection system requirements inside of buildings are based on the occupancy of the building, size of fire areas within the building, occupant load of the building, height or area of the building, quantity of hazardous materials stored or used inside a building, fire loss history of a given hazard. Certain occupancy classifications require the installation of one or more fire protection systems based on these six characteristics. In the case of a residential occupancy, or Group R, an automatic sprinkler system is required throughout the building when a Group R fire area is created. For example, if part of a small one-story business, or Group B, were converted to a motel, this change of occupancy requires the installation of an automatic sprinkler system throughout the entire building. Conversely, the construction of a moderate hazard factory occupancy, or Group F1, would not require automatic sprinkler protection unless its fire area exceeds 12,000 square feet. Many of the IFC fire protection system requirements are based on the building occupancy, occupant load, or fire areas. The occupant load of a building will dictate the installation of certain fire protection systems. In an assembly occupancy, such as a dance hall where food or beverages are not served, or Group A3, an automatic sprinkler system is required if the occupant load is 300 or more persons. Because of the large occupant load, the IFC prescribes the installation of occupant notification devices as part of a manual fire alarm system that would inform occupants in the event that the automatic sprinkler system operates. A building's height or area can dictate the installation of a fire protection system. The IBC limits building height and area based on its occupancy classification and construction type. IBC construction types are fire resistive, non combustible, combustible, or a mixture of combustible and non combustible materials. In many occupancies, the IBC permits the building's height and area to be increased when the building is protected by an automatic sprinkler system. The number and type of increases granted depends on if the automatic sprinkler system is designed for property and life safety protection or if it is only designed for life safety applications. A fire protection system may be required inside a building when the quantity of materials stored or their hazards exceed certain limits. IFC Chapter 32 regulates high-piled combustible storage, which is a very common method of storing large volumes of materials in Group S occupancies. Automatic sprinkler protection in these buildings is required based on the fire hazard of the stored goods, the storage height and area, and the building's occupancy classification. Certain classes of hazardous materials are so easily ignited or can cause such a large amount of damage if ignited that IFC Chapter 50 requires the installation of an automatic sprinkler system throughout buildings when these classes of hazardous materials are stored indoors. Certain hazards inside of buildings represent a relatively high threat to the occupants, the building, and its contents if an unwanted fire occurs. To control the fire risks, the IFC requires the installation of fire protection systems for specific hazards or uses. One example is commercial cooking systems that can generate smoke and grease-laden vapors. Because the smoke and vapors act as fuel inside of the commercial cooking exhaust system, the IFC requires the installation of a fire extinguishing system specifically designed for the hazard. The system is designed in accordance with the applicable NFPA standards and IFC installation requirements. Any modification to an existing commercial cooking system requires the fire protection system be upgraded to comply with the IFC. 
A jurisdiction may be asked to approve the construction of a building, structure, or process where the hazards are unique or challenging to emergency responders. In some cases, the size or arrangement of the hazard may impair or limit the ability of fire apparatus to approach the location. In such instances, the fire code official can require additional fire protection safeguards. These can be in the form of any fire protection system, as addressed in Chapter 9 of the IFC. Consistency in code enforcement is important. Once the fire code official decides additional protection is required, it must also be required for any similar installations in the future. If not, the jurisdiction could be liable for the added expenses imposed on one business while waiving the requirement for others. Additional fire protection systems or safeguards may not be so obvious or rely on fire suppression and detection systems. Realize that certain process safety controls specified by the design professional, such as installing certain flow control valves, automatic shutdown components, or other less known but equally reliable systems, may effectively reduce and manage a hazard while providing greater reliability than a fire suppression or detection system. In instances when the fire code official is considering additional fire protection systems, it's reasonable and prudent to request that the design be reviewed by a fire protection engineer or other competent design professional who has the experience and understanding of the hazards of the building, occupancy, the stored materials, or the process. 